Alrighty, um, some of you will be familiar with uh, what I do. Some of the stuff is rinsed, um, but I use three lead couplings on double O gauge rolling stock. And today I'm going to show you how to take a fairly standard Hornby wagon or some Dapple wagons and retrofit these couplings on there. So the main things you're going to need, so you're going to need your Hornby or again, like I say, some Dapple wagons uh, which have this particular sort of coupling hook on them. Um, then you're going to want some screwdrivers for taking the body off, a scalpel and a chisel. And you're going to want these three link chain pieces. I get these particular ones from H&A Models, which is a UK hobby shop. And they just come in packs with like this separate and you'll also just need a pair of pliers to put those together. Alrighty, so the first thing you're going to do is uh, just pull the couplings that come on it off. Put those to the side. Now, um, if you're like me, you're not going to need these again, so I'm just going to put them out of the way. Um, and now we're just going to grab the body off, gently like that, yep, Good. yep, so put the body and weight to the side, there you go, and we'll have a look in a bit better at the hooks, so we have the outside loop there, and then the inner one, which is where the chain will sit, that's so we're not going to touch the inner one, but the we're going to use the scalpel to cut out the rearmost part of the front slot so that the chain can easily slot on and off. And if I get the other way again, um, we'll see. It doesn't quite, yeah, it doesn't actually sit on. It will click in and out, but that's not what you want for smooth operation. Uh, you want it to click. We want the chain to click in and out of the second one, so that it's changed, so the chain stays there. But the front one, you want it to go out straight and forward, fairly easy. So that's what we're going to do with the scalpels. Already, so at this point, and yeah, the reason why you take the body off is just so that it's a lot easier to get in with um, again wagons like this one. You might be able to get away with not taking the body off, but like generally speaking, it makes it a lot easier for you. Um, so you take, so I've got the flat sh chisel blade, you might not need the other one actually at all. Um, so we get like there, just curve a smidgen about off the back like that, see? Um, and yeah, like I say, all you got to do is just like keep going with that until another bit of chain just goes on and off pretty easily like this. And also do like a check that like from most angles the hook the chain won't get stuck which is what that was doing so that side is done um so you have to flip it over the other way do the same thing on the other end there so be careful not to take too much off uh, just check it beep, beep. And again, check for like most angles that it doesn't get stuck, and that's really good as well. Okay, so we're done with the chisel there. Alrighty, next you want to get the bits of three link chain. I happen to have six. Yes, you, for one way, you want six, three each end. One, two, three, four, five, six. Yep, pretty easy. Um, so you just take one at a time. So you get the pliers out. You just split them apart like that to make one loop you just take two other pieces one, two like that Oops. Sorry. yeah these things are quite fiddly so yeah you need steady hands for doing these um, put that one back on again. Boop, boop. Yep, pretty straight. 
four, so that's one. And then just make up a second set of three. Two sets of three, one for each end. Um, and now what you do, yeah, just grab your chassis again. Um, with the links, you tend to notice one side has a teeny little bit missing on one side, so you want that side in the back divot of the hook. That and we just do just pull it on, click it on like that. It's on pretty much, yep. Do same thing, check it doesn't get stuck. That's pretty good, yep, turn it around. Grab the other one. Ah. So that way, come bit there. Click it on. Yep, and there you go. It's all in there quite nicely. And so pretty much all you do now, just grab the weight. And then chuck the body back on. And there you go, it's that simple. Quick and easy, and now this will go straight on to the layout that I have, the layout that I have with all the other bits and pieces that I run. So yeah, there you go. Enjoy. If you like watching this, um, yeah, leave it a like. If you have any questions, leave it a comment, and I'll maybe think about doing some more complicated videos like this. Cheers. See ya.